guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my 37, 38, and 39 week pregnancy update. So yes, I know, it's real late with coming out, but whatever. Um, I'm also not pregnant anymore, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't get a chance to record this video before I had the baby, so I'm going to just do it now because I need to finish strong. I can't start pregnancy update journey vlogs videos and then not finish them you know so yeah let's go ahead and get into the video so week 37 nothing really changed I was still able to move around a little bit I did finish cleaning the kitchen floor um and what else um I cleaned the stairs and I deep cleaned, yeah, I deep cleaned this like the stairs and like the stairwell and the um, baseboards and everything um, for the stairs that go from the first floor to the second floor. And went to the doctor and I was still dilated to a one. Um, she was really happy with, you know, everything and told me, you know, keep doing what you're doing and she said, if you have your baby on, what was it, on Friday or Sunday, I will be there. And, and I will be the one to be able to deliver your baby. And I was like, okay, cool, for if I had her during my 38 weeks. So, that was 37 weeks. And then 38 weeks were a little, thir yeah, my 38th week was a little different. So, it started out normal, just like every other pregnancy week had, and I did things that I had normally been doing. I scrubbed the upstairs bathroom. I, what else did I do? Oh, I had also, like, started putting all, making sure all of the baby's clothes were clean and put away in her drawers and, like, organizing I did that actually 36 and 37 weeks, um, but I like kept going in every day and just making sure that everything was where it needed to be. And my mom came and helped finish off the baby's room, and I believe that's when we hung up um, one of her big picture frames, um, as well as the letters for her name on the wall. And then... Towards the end of my 38th week, I started to have more pain than normal, and it was right up along the top of my belly, and I didn't really think much of it, and I had my, uh, my normal doctor's appointment, um, and I hadn't really started having the pain until after the appointment. Um, but my mom had noticed that I was a little bit swollen, and the doctor did mention that I looked a little swollen, but nothing too concerning. Still dilated to a 1 at 38 weeks. Um, and then the end of 38 weeks and into 39 weeks, I just had a lot of pain at the top of my belly, like where your belly starts. I had pain right there, and if you pressed on it, it hurt more. So... On Monday, the 25th of May, it was Memorial Day here in the United States, and we had a huge Memorial Day party with a bunch of our friends. Did family come over? I think family came over. Yes, family came over as well, and um, so we just had a big cookout, and then DJ took his best friend home and went to the corner and got me a Slurpee. And when he went to go take RJ home, I just, I felt like something wasn't right, so I called the after hours number, I called my doctor and got the after hours line. And the doctor called me who was on call and she said, I want you to come in. And I was like, okay. She was like, you're 39 weeks. I just want, 
people. I just want to hook you up to the monitors and just make sure that everything is okay. It could be nothing, but I just want to make sure. I could always have you come in tomorrow morning to the to um, to just see whoever is has an opening for you um, at the doctor's office. But I'd really rather you come in tonight. And I was like, okay. So I'm like in the bathroom, like trying to <laughs> do my makeup because I'm like, oh my god. Like, I know what this means. And trying to go over in my head to make sure everything is in all of the, um, like, the bags, the hospital bags. And DJ comes home, and he comes up, excuse me, he comes upstairs, and he's got my Slurpee. And I open the bathroom door, and he's like, what's wrong, babe? And I was like, I called the doctor. He's like, okay, what did they say? I was like, they want me to come in. He goes, come in where? He said they want me to go to the hospital. And he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. He goes, well, what do you want to do? And I didn't say anything. Because I just, I couldn't say anything. Um, I didn't, like I had so many thoughts and so many emotions that I just, my mouth just shut down. I couldn't say a word, which was really weird. I was completely speechless. And I've never been speechless before really in my life. So, we, um, got in the car and he had to call the boys, the, his friends who had just left, to let them know, hey, I'm not going, I'm not getting on the Xbox. Um, you know, Megan and I are gonna go and we're going to the hospital, they want her to come in, and they're like, oh my god, is she okay? And he's like, she's fine, she's fine, they just want to run some tests and monitor the baby and make sure everything's okay. And then we made the rounds and called the parents, and they were like, okay, just let us know, you know, what's going on, and they knew. And, um, so we went to the hospital, and... That's it. That's all I'm going to say about that for 39 weeks. I know. I'm terrible for you guys. But I will have my birth story soon. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I just have to talk DJ and my sister into being in the video because they're going to have a good memory and help me fill in the gaps of what I miss. Um, so I just have to convince them to be in the video. So, if you guys want to see my birth story, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe and leave a comment saying, Victoria and DJ, you better be in the video so that we can do. Okay? And yeah, that's just it for today. I'm sorry if you're super PO'd at me, but I'm just leaving it at that with... 39 weeks in one day, we went to the hospital. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye!